Welcome back. So in this video, we'll tackle itemized and optional standard deductions. So we talked about the formula for computing for taxable income uh, in the previous video. And we know that we reduce our gross sales and receipts by our cost of sales and other operating expenses. And the first thing that you need to know is that you have two options to report or to reduce your gross sales and gross uh, receipts. The first one is the so-called itemized deductions. So what are itemized deductions? Uh, according to this slide, you will see that these deductions are necessary or ordinary in the conduct of business. And uh, you have to make sure that these are supported with receipts and it was incurred during the taxable year. So if you're reporting for 2019, then only expenses that are spent during 2019 are allowable. And uh, you have to make sure that the with the withholding taxes uh, on those expenses should have also been properly reported and paid to the BIR. Now, withholding taxes will be tackled in the next videos, but you have to remember this, that there are some types of expenses whereby you need to withhold or to pay on behalf of the supplier of the, uh, of the products or service the tax related to those purchases. Okay, so it might be a little bit confusing now but when we go to withholding taxes uh, that will be a lot easier to understand and of course they are not against morals so if you paid someone to do um something illegal to your competitor then that is not an allowable expense of course so there are also some items of expenses that are subject to limits, which include uh, interest, representation expenses, taxes, and donations or contributions. And this would be shown in our guide, itemized deduction guide in this course. Again, this is a reiteration of our uh, discussions a while ago. So you have their revenue and sales less your cost of sales or service. Then you will get your gross profit. Then you reduce further your gross profit by the allowable expenses. These are related to your operations. They may be admin or marketing. And whatever is left would be your taxable income, which is subject to income taxation. Now, the second type of deduction that you may want to use instead of itemized deduction is the so-called optional standard deduction or OSD. So what, what is the OSD? So in lieu of the itemized deductions, because when you're, uh, well, when you're operating, operating a business, it's normal for you to uh, keep all of your receipts, your expenses related to the business and do a lot of accounting and bookkeeping work. But if you're a professional and sometimes you you really are not um, collecting that much receipts or you're having difficulties uh, recording your expenses, worry not because the government or the law provides you a, an alternative which you may use which is this one the OSD and basically using the OSD you just simply reduce your revenue or sales by a certain percentage in this case it's 40 percent of your gross sales or receipts if you're an individual resident or citizen 
or 40% of your gross business income or net cost of sales um, if you are a domestic corporation. So instead of having to report all of your expenses, which may be tedious, you are allowed by law to just simply make use of a um, a percentage-based deduction. And for bigger companies, they may this may be um, more advantageous on their part, especially if their expenses, the ratio of their expenses uh, compared to their gross sales and receipts is less than 40%, meaning these are the, the companies that are really um, earning quite some significant um, net profit margin. And uh, this is also advantageous for professionals who, who don't really spend that much for um, cost of sales or other expenses or they don't want to keep receipts. So they can simply make use of, of the optional standard deduction. Now, so this is the this is how you report itemized deductions as we've mentioned a while ago and in comparison this is how we report optional standard deduction if you will notice there's only one line item for expenses or deduction and you will immediately compute for your taxable income so this is by the way Additional note here is that when you're using optional standard deduction, you no longer need to uh, present proof of your expenses. So that's a big thing, a, a big plus for a lot of entrepreneur. In the next video, we'll tackle optional an illustration which illustrates the, op, the application of optional standard deduction. See you then.